Hey everyone, Lenny Gale, Life is No Yoke. This is a conversation I had with Michelle from the Vitamix Culinary Exploration Center in Solon, Ohio. At the end of this video, hopefully we'll be able to answer the question, what is so special about the Vitamix? Hi guys, you know who I am. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, Lenny Gale, Life is No Yoke. So we're in the Vitamix retail store in Solon, Ohio, and I'm with Michelle, and, and the, I want to have a quick conversation with her because we kind of have a similar job, and I'm curious of how you help people get to the edge, taking the plunge, pulling the trigger, getting a Vitamix, and in the demonstrations that she does, in the shows, and in the uh, events that she holds, what do you say when people say things like, so, okay, I can do all these things in a blender. Great, I'm gonna go get a Nutribullet. What I like to point out is that it's really more than just a blender. Yeah. And for me personally, I don't use my food processor nearly as much. Did I get rid of it? No, because it doesn't, the Vitamix doesn't shred. Shred, So right. it's like when you want that texture, you still need to have that food processor. But I honestly have taken out maybe twice in the last year because I can do everything on the Vitamix. It cleans up so much easier, so I don't have like six different parts in my dishwasher yeah. and taking up the whole thing. When people will come in here and be like, oh, is this going to make me eat healthy? And I'm like, well, not necessarily, because you can make some really delicious, decadent delights right. in your Vitamix. Right. But what it does is it makes it easier to make that healthier choice. Yes. So you're more likely to do it more often. Yes. And when it's because when it's easy to do something yes. and you're going to get um, the result that you're looking for. Yes. That's when it pays off for you health wise. Yes. It, yes. Okay. It's easy and you get the results. And we say that it lives on your counter. So it's a constant reminder of this yes. of this commitment that you've made to yourself to live a certain lifestyle and to make some changes and to do some things for you and for your family. Absolutely. And I always tell people too that it's nice to, I've been in retail my entire career, yeah. and it's nice to actually sell a product that really does what they say it does. I love that, yeah. And I mean, I've seen the competitive blends with, um, Vitamix against like five other brands of blenders and they do the mix very smoothly yeah. and they pour it through the sieves yeah. and you can see how it cuts through. Mm -hmm. So when people come in here and they have a competitor's blender and they're like, well, I really like the way this one works. And I'm like, We're, it's gonna do everything you're doing now, but it's gonna do it better yeah. and you're gonna be able to do more. Yeah. And, and that's really, I mean, our class that we do here, the basics culinary class, yeah. it's an hour and 45 minutes yeah. where we show you everything you can do on your blender. Yes. And I mean, I, we spend 10 minutes talking about different chopping techniques right. because that's something I don't do on the food, on the poison art anymore. You yes. can create, you know, people are nuts for cauliflower rice. It yes. takes like 10 seconds that's in a right. mix. That's right. So, I mean, there's just all these kind of fun things that you can do that you don't think of the blenders yeah. being the tool you use, but if you have a Vitamix, it'll become the tool you grab. Yeah, you mentioned the, the Nutribullet and you mentioned the blend-offs comparing the results of different machines, mm -hmm. and that for people that do have a Nutribullet, for example, that they actually should be happy because the results you get from that are oh, it was much, way better, than, are the much better yeah. than a Ninja, yeah, which I thought was, it, was, was interesting. I think people see it, uh, conceptualize it as the other way around. Right. But, you know, if you have a Nutribullet, it's like, oh, great, you're actually, you know, you're in good shape. The only problem is that it lasts, with, with regular use, it lasts a few months. Yeah. And that's, and that's great. We always say it's a, it's, a, it's a foot in the door. It's a way to get started. It's, yeah, it's a way to make the lifestyle change that yeah, you're hoping to make. Yeah. And the thing is, is how many people are here, come in here, and they're on their third or their fourth one, and they're like, gosh, I could have paid for a Vitamix. Sure. You know, right now, now that we have the payment plans on the website, yeah. it makes it very affordable. Yeah. That's what I would like people to think about. If this is something you're going to do all the time, yeah. you want that tool yeah. that's built to handle that kind of, yeah. you know, abuse on a daily basis. Yeah. And it's going to perform, we say they last, you know, people, there's that saying that they last a lifetime. And they, people always say, oh, does that mean there's a lifetime guarantee? We're like, no, but with proper use it's going to last you 20, 30 years. People bring them in all the time to trade them in. Yeah. And they're like handing it to me like, here you go, but it's not broken. Right. Here you go, right. oh, but it still blends. Right. You know what, maybe I'm going to give this right. to my sister. Right. I mean, they're afraid, they don't want to part with it. Yes. It's, you know. We get a lot of people that reach out to us and say, we've had our machine for 15, 20, 25 years. Yeah. So I heard a stat that I think something like less than half of 1% of these machines get sent in for service. Right. Like, you get the warranty and it's nice to have five, seven, ten years. Well, what we find out here in the store, because you can always drop off your repairs here, so we see a lot come through, but what we find out is nine out of ten times, it's brand new users that are have the wrong technique. Okay. So that they're, like, look, a great example is I tell everyone when you're using your tamper, don't put your other hand on the handle because you don't even realize that you're oh so slightly putting pressure especially when you're new and you're just learning yeah. to use a tamper and you can rock it and it can cause wear on the drive shaft. Got it. 
when we get that repair coming in and you can feel the burrs on the, yes. on the drive shaft and I'm like, where do you put your other hand when you're yes. using the camper? Put on top. Yep. They're, they're almost always grabbing the handle, either on top or resting at the base. Yeah. I think that's good for eye hand coordination because it gives you, um, you're, not, you're less likely to rock with the hand that's holding the tamper. That makes sense. But um, definitely don't put on the handle. So yeah. it's like little things like that is what we tend to see it coming in for. And it's covered by your warranty. It's uh, part for of sure. Warranty curve. I think inevitably we always get people who've had them for two, three, four days mm -hmm. and they're like, all right, this thing can handle anything. I'm going to put in a brick of frozen fruit and ice. No then, water, yeah, no and, water. Yeah, no water. And then they, and they say, well, I think my, I think it's broken. I think I got a, a defective one. I'm like, well, did you add any liquid? What are you doing? Like, come on, this thing, this thing can make There's, the best drinks and all the things, but like, you got to load it. Have some respect. Gotta, for it. Yeah, you got to load it properly. <laughs> yeah. it's, um, I tell people, I go, there is a learning curve. Yeah, you're not going to be perfect the first time out. I tell people to check the recipes on the website, even if you're doing your own thing, because they're gonna give you a sense of proportion. Yeah. And all smoothies are gonna be a liquid to frozen ratio. Yeah. So if you're all frozen, you're gonna to wanna to up your liquid yeah. content. If you are got tons of French fresh fruit that are gonna liquefy quickly and create that liquid base, yeah. then you might wanna add some ice to it yeah. to thicken it up. So there is a learning curve sure. and that's important for people to know. Oh, it's a blender, but like it's more than a blender. It's a Vitamix and you gotta, uh, figure out how to use it. Yeah, There's well, a, you guys do some great technique videos. Thank There's you. Some great technique videos on Vitamix.com. There's and if you're in Solon, yeah. you can come and take a class with us. Yeah, come visit Michelle. It's actually so, really yeah. fun and really cool here. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to say is I think people feel like they need to deserve a Vitamix, or rather, they don't feel like they deserve it. I'm not living this lifestyle or I'm, I don't have a good enough job or I don't, I'm not one who can or should have a Vitamix. But if it's something that you're considering, you should. It's almost like a fear of failure that if I make this big investment, will it be worth it? Will I have oh, I fulfilled the expectations I have of myself with this machine? Do you it, feel that? It breaks my heart to hear somebody tell me that they bought it. Yeah and then they haven't taken it out of the box. Yeah. We had a lady come in here and she's like, she was thinking about you know, returning it because she just hadn't taken it out of the box. And you're kind of like, you treated yourself to this awesome yeah. appliance and why are you not using it? What's holding you back? Yeah. And so I do see what you mean, that there's a fear of use. And we got her in here for a basics class and she is on fire. Yeah. She brings us stuff that she's making on her Vitamix now. She's like so excited about it. Right. But I, I tell people, I go, it, it comes with that 30 day, when you buy from Vitamix, you get that yeah. 30 day money yeah. back guarantee. Use it, use it every single yeah. day yeah. and then decide. Because I think by the end of that window, you're gonna be successful in so many things that you will you will use it. And that's that whole idea of making yourself first and treating yourself and being able to do the healthy things that you need to. And with the new um, Exploring coming out, boy, there's a price point for everybody. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good fit. And for, yeah, for people that want the low profile and the narrow container and a new machine that's at a really good price point, that's that's a great fit for sure. It's it's easier than it ever has been, we say. Well, and I, when we tell everyone at the store when you come in, it doesn't matter what full-size Vitamix you're getting, they yeah. all can do everything equally as well. Yeah. So you kind of have to break it down into, you know, what's important to yeah. you. You know, do you like working with programs? Are you comfortable with manual control? Yeah. All the machines have manual control. Some of them have programs. You pay a little bit more yeah. for that, but it's a convenience feature. You don't need them to be able to do hot soup. That's all right. the machines make hot soup. That's right. And so I tell people, if you love all the gadgets and the technology, then top of the line new Ascent might be the way yeah. to go. If you're just getting started and you're not sure how you're gonna yeah. use it, then grab a new Explorian. My gosh, you can get in for such a great price. What Shalva just brought this to our attention from, from behind, and it's it's that you make this commitment and you're holding yourself accountable. It's like having a gym membership. And okay, I paid for a gym membership every month. I'm gonna use it. I'm sort of forcing myself to use Absolutely. it because if I don't, I've already committed, so I, ha I have to. Absolutely. It's, a, it's sort of like a, uh, a, a contract with yourself to, to use this thing. Absolutely, and if you figure out, you know, if you are stopping at a smoothie place yeah. and buying a smoothie, you right. know, you're spending what, seven, eight dollars? Yeah, 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 the math want. definitely doesn't add up. And, and yeah. it's like, so if you wanna get into doing this and you're yeah. doing it at home, you can even like factor out what you're saving yeah. per blend that you yeah. would've stopped somewhere to pick something else up. Um, one of my good friends, when she went back to college for her second degree, she calculated the cost of every class Okay. from her tuition and that's how she held herself accountable and you can kind of do the same thing with the blender you know you're like what what money did i invest that 
I want, I want to get out of it. Totally. We never buy smoothies and juices out unless we're, unless we're uh, traveling and, and, and in, in a pinch, but it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. No, and look at all the sugar in the ones that are being done at the commercial places. Right. It's like if you really read the right. ingredients list, right. how many times do you see like apple juice as the base component? And you can switch that out with something healthier like water or, a, or almond milk yeah. or just, um, and that really changes the calorie makeup and you get such a much healthier. And anything that's fresh, I mean, when they're blending, when you're blending it fresh for yourself. Okay, so I totally agree. I have two questions. One, I've always been one to avoid the high-end products, the brand name products, because I find that the value isn't there, what you're buying is a name. And the example that I've that's close to us now is with strollers. We know that there are very expensive strollers with very uh, fancy names, and we can't see the value, but it's easy for us to see the value in the best blender, the Vitamix. Right. Can, can you, I do. Can you well, talk to that? Like, one thing that one of the girls that used to work with us, and I and I think you heard her say it, is I am too poor to buy cheap. I cannot afford to have to replace this blender every six months, every year, and have that. It's it, it's that unknown expense constantly popping up that you're not budgeting for. Yeah. And if you invest in um, a brand that's proven, yeah. I mean, 96 years old, Vitamix has been around. Yes, yes. And it's like when you can invest in something that's proven that you know is going to last, you have that, you make that initial investment, but you know it's there for you yeah. for a long time to yeah. come. Um, and because it morphs with you, the Vitamix does, it's like, you know, you can be doing using it as you're starting a young family with your baby foods yep. and your purees yep. and you got you and Shelva are using yep. it to do your smoothies. Yeah. But then as the kids start to get older and you're gonna wanna be getting them to eat more vegetables yes. and stuff like that, it becomes a great vehicle. You can make frozen desserts yes. and you can sneak some stuff in there. Yes. So it's gonna grow with your family. Yes. And that's why people say they have them for generations. They pass them down. Yes. People come in with their grandmother's Vitamix. We hear that a lot. And she remembers what grandma used to make on the Vitamix. They will move with you. And I think that um, as a brand, that's something that comfort level that it's going to last yeah. really pays off. And I know it's an intimidating price point. Yeah. Absolutely yeah, it yeah. is. Um, Vitamix is definitely trying to give people options to make it more affordable yeah. by offering the payment plans. But you're in you're investing in something that you're going to be having for a long time. I like that. Yeah. Last question. Sure. I have a couple friends that have a $20 blender and they use it every day. And they say when it dies, they'll get a Vitamix. Mm -hmm. And I can't sell them on a Vitamix. It's almost as though I'll be winning in a sense, I think in their head or they can't, or they just can't justify it. They are who they are. What do you, what do you say to them? I tell people that feel like my blender's as good as yours, I'm like, why don't you bring me your ingredients and let me blend them for you. A blend off, and right. then And then and then you tell me yeah, if yeah. it's the same experience. Okay. Nine out of 10 times. It's not making, the same experience. They're making a chunky, not a smoothie. You're right. So, <laughs> I mean, truly. Yeah. So, it's, and it's the fact that that little blender, they're not, they're doing the same thing all the time, all the time. It's like with the Vitamix, you're going to have, you're going to use it for other things like we did. Yes. The, um, you give a lot more value out of it. I think you do. Right. I think you do. It is, you're buying a tool for your kitchen. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, you're not buying a, a single use machine. You're not buying a ice cream maker. Yeah. I mean, we well, used you to... are, you are buying an ice cream yeah, maker, I mean, but, but it's not, that's not its sole purpose. It's doing so many different things. Yeah. We it. use it for the whole gamut of, of kitchen needs. So food processing, we make uh, cauliflower fried rice, like you say, a detox salad. We, we make hot soups. We make our famous queso, hot cheese sauce. We make uh, nut butters. We make frozen desserts, ice creams hummus i mean we it's it's dressing it's the only appliance that we use and yeah that's our job i get it but dressings yeah all the time we make fresh dressings they're wonderful um we so there, you get more value i mean it's, it, there's more to it than just uh a, a 600 hundred dollar smoothie maker yeah, it's just absolutely. it's more than that it's way more than that and um th i think that that's just it uh someone once said that she thinks of it as a member of the family because yeah. if you if something's not there and you miss it when it's gone, oh, I like that. It's a, it, like a member of the family. Yeah. She goes and she feels that way about her Vitamix. Yeah. That when it's not when she doesn't have it, she misses it. Yeah. So. We 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 don't push, and we just we actually take the opposite approach. We just say like, we're here whenever you're ready. It just yeah. as soft as possible. Like we're gonna <laughs> we'll be here if it's one month, one year, ten years. Like we're gonna be here. This is what we do. That's what we, no we get pressure. a lot. And, and the <laughs> Go ahead. Not, because it is a high price point, you, yeah. people need time to wrap their head around yeah. it. So 
it's like somebody will walk in the store, they're typically not gonna buy the first time they come in. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna come in, they're gonna want a little bit more information, yeah. we'll explain to them the difference on the models, um, and then they'll go out and they'll look around on their own, they'll think about what they're doing. But And I always tell people, I'm like, bring me your groceries, bring me your problem you're looking to solve, yes. let us help you solve it. Yeah. Because um, I think that that's, an important part of being able to justify the machine, to be able to know, to, or rather justify the price point, is to know that you can do all those things. Yeah, it can solve so, a problem. Mm -hmm. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for Michelle, even though she, like, she makes a good case. Do it for yourself whenever you're ready. I think absolutely. that's I think that's the bottom line. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. We'll be here. We'll be here, yeah, that's Another right. 96 years. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, yeah. listen, listen, listen to Michelle's words, they're very good and helpful. Thank you for watching Life is No Yoke. Thanks Goodbye. For yeah, thanks. Thanks for joining us in the Solon store. And blah blah blah. Thank you. <laughs> so what do you think? What's so special about the Vitamix? Is it? Is it not? Leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching.